How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Ranked Report. We are playing some more Spike Lift with our Rain team, and we're up against uh, Kareem again. We always need to play Kareem. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's, I'm, I'm recording these videos in Ladder Tours run with the same people every time, so it's not surprising I'm running into the same participants. Um, if anyone has any people, like if they know people who run Ladder Tours with Spike Lift or anything, please do let me know. Um, because I would love to get a bit more opponent diversity rather than playing against the same people week in, week out. Um, pretty standard sand team. I've played against this a couple of times now. Uh, I think Kingdra actually goes kind of crazy here. I don't think I lead Politoed, because if they're t slow, which it likely is, then I'm in trouble. I could lead Kingdra Rillaboom, I think is decent. And I really sucks. Kingdra Sizzle. Um, yeah, Sizzle's way better here, I think. Uh, Kingdra Sizzle, I definitely need Politoed for all these reasons. I think it's got to be Lando as my last. It used to be a little bit weak to the the, um, the bird, though, actually. So maybe it's a Lecky. It could be like an Alecky Kingdra lead. I don't hate. I could do this. Alecky Kingdra, Politoed. Do I even bring Sizzle to this? Maybe I don't, actually. I'd probably better bring Lando. Yeah, Lando's way better here. I don't know what I'm chatting. Um, yeah, good. I'm fine with this. Um, Kingdra, Poly, Alecky, Lando. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I think that works. Let's do this. Um... Yeah, I saw Scissor because priority bullet punch to beat T-Tar, but yeah, it's actually not that useful in this matchup. Um, Right, we've got Talon Naga, okay. That's a super aggressive lead from my opponent. Um, it seems only Dragon Resist is Sizzle, which is not very good. Um, so they probably want to go Tailwind and Draco by Kingdra. In which case I just switch in my Polytope, I think. And then go for... I'm going to web here, I think. The reason I'm going to go web is if I Volt Switch next turn, I can KO the Talon Flame, stop Tailwind going up again, and then also bring my Kingdra, who will now be faster than the Naga because of the Electro Drop. Um, but I'm this really feels like it's going to be Tailwind. Um, I guess the other option I had there was just to go Electro Protect. That was probably better, actually. If I go Electro Protect there, then I can do the same thing next turn, where I just go for... Um, I just go for the Draco into Naga and I'm faster. That was probably actually the correct play, but well. They go Tailwind, yep, yeah, and this will be Draco into... Oh! Huh? Bro, why would you T-Bolt there? What are you doing? Why would you ever T-Bolt in that situation? I'm so confused. Um, whatever. Um... Okay, change of plans. This is now a Landorus. Why did you T-Bolt there? I'm honestly very confused by that T-Bolt. Um, I'm just going to bolt with the T-Flame here. Because, like, T-Bolt doesn't do anything to Kingdra. Like, maybe it was half, and then you just trade your Naga for a Kingdra. Which is really not worth. Why would you not just launch a Draco there? Like, Draco does more damage to Politoed than T-Bolt does. I don't get it. Whatever. Okay, I'm fast in both. Time goes down. Um, so now, assuming I keep my Kingdra alive, I have speed control for the rest of the game. Did they Draco my Alecky? I don't think they Draco my Alecky. I don't know if I can afford to take the risk though, is the problem. I'd have to get Kingdra. I've backed myself into a corner here. I played that really badly. I played that really, really badly. Um, okay, fine. I got away with it. Metagross comes in. Interesting. Um... I mean, I just Draco the Naga here, right? Do I just Draco Earth Power? I feel like I do. I feel like there's a little reason not to just Draco Earth Power. 
Like policy Metagross. Oh, it could be Ice Punch Metagross. I'm so stupid. This is probably Ice Punch Metagross. Mm. It's not the worst thing if it is. Mm. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm playing this so bad. That's such a pointless Lando Sack. That's such a pointless Lando Sack. Um. Well, I go a lucky here. Uh, there is no go a lucky rather than Polito, just due to this T-Tar back end, which it likely is. Oh, they have Drake as up, but not T-Tar. That's weird. Um, um, I wonder if I double up into Drake's up and just kill it here. I could just double up into Drake's up. Or just T-Wall the Metagross. Um, is Drake was not going to be faster than under Tailwind? I feel like it is. I feel like you run this to be faster than Eleki. In which case I can Volt switch off the Metagross relatively safely. Um, do this, and bring in Politoed. Ah, uh, no, I should have just T-Volted here. This Volt switch is very unnecessary. I was vying too hard to get Kingdra back on the field. Okay, they are faster, which ends up working in my favour, but... They both leaked my Politoed, that's whatever. I didn't need it anymore. Um, I Volt Switch and I keep my Sash intact. That's Assault Vest, okay. Noted. Um, T Punch, okay. Don't power me. Okay, no Tailwind, very nice. It was Reggie Lucky. Do I just muddy and T Volt into Metagross here? I think I do. Given that I know it's um, Assault Vest, I think I just go for the kill on Metagross here in case they protect their Drake Assault. Maybe I'm throwing. Maybe I'm throwing. I'm probably throwing. But if they protect Drake Assault here uh, to get around Drake Immediate, then I'm... Yeah, okay. That's kind of what I figured. Um... Please just hit. Thank you. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, that's a mega in T-Ball range. Nice. Um... Brain stopped, but I mean Kingdra's always faster than the Drake's not here, so it's fine. Um, Draco, and I mean my lose condition here is miss, um, miss Draco Meteor into they hit everything from Hustle. Oh wait, no, they're gonna be Sandrush, not Hustle, aren't they? They probably, sorry, they probably don't even kill me if they um, came to bolt me there actually. Okay, and Drake's not dies. Okay. I played that so sloppy, but we got away with it. Um, T-Bolt Naga is so weird. Why would you... I don't get that. You need Flamethrower and Naga Nadal, surely. Because otherwise you just get walled by Steel types. Like, Omega walled by Steel types. Ugh. Ah, well. Whatever. I think I played that not amazing, but I mean, your opponents aren't always going to play perfectly, so you can get away with it. Um... Yeah, I, did, I think I've been too trigger happy on Vault Switches there. There are a couple of situations where it would be better just stay in and press an attack with Reggie Alecki, because I've got the Sash, um, and I, I just can't afford to risk my Kingdra. Basically. Um, okay. Next trainer we've got. Another Polito. What is this? Okay, they've got Polito Kingdra as well. Um, Counting Moltres, Raichu, Ferrothorn. This is. Okay, Ferrothorn's an awful matchup. Ferrothorn is just an awful matchup. I have no way of hitting it. I just can't hit Ferrothorn. I guess Superpower on Sizzle was making my best bet into that. Nothing was this fighting apart from the Comfy. So maybe that's an option. I don't think I bring my rain team, my rain core here. I think it's like... I could bring Politoed for a Perish Endgame. No, because I lose a Perish Endgame against Ferrothorn. 
then they definitely bring Ferrothorn to this is the problem. And I have no way through it. Scizor... Maybe you like Scizor, Alecky, Rillaboom, Politoed? Is an option. I mean, I can always just perish on the early game just to stop the Ferrothorn from setting up. I like force it to switch out so it can't just set up a million iron defences is also an option. Um, but yeah, Ferrothorn is a Ferrothorn is impossible with this team. Holy crap. How do I ever beat Ferrothorn? Well, I've got one move on the entire team that can hit it for anything that resembles reasonable damage. Hey, Raiji Moltres. Okay. Ooh, it's Shiny Moltres. I don't know how I feel about Shiny Moltres. I get weird vibes from it. I keep thinking it's a fire type and it's going to hit my sizzle with super effective damage. Um, I'm going to U-turn. I might just stay in webs here, honestly. I don't. I really don't hate staying in just going for Electro and Moltres. I could just fake out, actually. Yeah, I probably do fake out sizzle. Yeah. Web. So this means if they get greedy and go for a nasty plot here, I can um, potentially just kill their Moltres next turn. Moltres takes the chunk, yep. It's policy- why are you policy Moltres? And they just rip a fire off, cool. Well, GG's I guess. Dude, come on. Well, I need Sizzle because it's my only, 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 only damage against um, against what's it called? Um, against Ferrothorn. But I think I just have to go for more. Um, I'll go for another Electro up here. Who the hell runs Weakness Policy Moltres? <laughs> That's so mid without Max. I guess you can side Volt Switch, but that does so much damage without Max. And they protect. Okay, fine. Nothing. That's fine. Okay. Um, I think this gives me a relatively easy glide and electro here into the Moltres slot, depending on what comes in. Comfy comes in. Oh, I guess the Comfy to side proc. Yeah, that's the point. Um, I can get some healing, which is. Oh wait, no, because now they have um, Turbo Floral healing. Oh okay. yeah. Actually, can't do that because I like he's dead to Comfy priority. Um. I'm gonna have to go Politoed. And I can't protect either because Comfy's faster than my Rillaboom. Sorry, I can't fake out rather because Comfy's faster than Rillaboom. And Triage is plus three priority, so I'll actually just die to her if I stay in. So I guess I've got to go into Politoed. Um, I could go into Sizzle maybe and just threaten Bullet Punch. Such a bad spot. I also have a kind of terrible match to Raichu and Ultras here, honestly. Maybe I should have brought Lando, but yeah, they're only kissing twice as well. Fine. Um, take out. Bonk. Okay, big damage. That's actually very good damage. Uh, they do get Berserk, but. Okay. I could feasibly bullet punch Grassy Glide into the Moltres here and kill it. But it feels so obvious that they'd go for like a floral healing or something with Comfy, right? In which case I... The floral healing with Comfy, what's my move? I think I go U-turn off of Moltra. No. I don't know if Bullet Punch is going to kill Comfy is the issue. But do I just double the Comfy? I could just pray they protect their Moltres here and like switch into Raichu. It's also an option. Yeah, they just floral healing, there's no reason not to. My like, bullet punch glide isn't picking that up. Um, so I just need to get rid of the comfy here so Alecky can come back in safely. Oh, I've given him grassy terrain as well for floral healing. That's so bad. Bonk. Comfy does go down, at the very least, but yeah, I think this Moltres is just too out of hand. The only thing I have that's fast in it is Reggie Alecky, and Reggie Alecky can't do any fucking damage to it. Fire your ass. Um, 
Um, no, I should have brought Lucky in there. Because they bring in Raichu, yeah, and they have fake out pressure on Rillaboom. I mean, they could just fake out and kill the Rillaboom here with an Air Slash. What's my play here then? I guess I have to go for. I'll go Glide into Raichu and Scald into Raichu, I think. I just have to get rid of the Raichu so that I can put Moltres into the position where I can just T Bolt it, I think. Um, I think that's my only out here. I mean, I think they always just go fake out into Rillaboom. It's so safe just to fake out and, and um, fire Wrath. Yeah. Okay. The flinches. Scold. I'd love to see like an air slash miss. I didn't do anything. Snarl? Eh? That doesn't kill Rillaboom. Okay. That's a way back in. That is a way back into the game. Um. <laughs> Potentially. Um, so I can glide the right you here. Do I need to helping hand? Might be helping hand glide. Probably if they switch to Ferrothorn here, I'm in trouble. I mean, if they switch to Ferrothorn here, I think they should lose. But uh, I guess I have to pray they. Oh, no, there's no reason to keep right you in. Is the thing? They have absolutely no reason to keep right you in. If they've got Ferrothorn in the back here. They always switch it in. And I think I always lose in that situation. Um, so I think I just have to pray they don't do that, basically. Um, <laughs> it's, is the long and short of it? Yeah, that's going to be Ferrothorn. Yeah, I can never beat that. I can absolutely never beat Ferrothorn with this team. Like I said, my only, my only plans around it are, like, Super Found Sizzle, which I'm pretty sure wouldn't get a one-shot. Or trying to go for a Parasong endgame with Politoed and also playing so well that I have three Pokemon left when their Ferrothorn comes in so that I can switch out and not be the slowest thing on the field. I'm oh, sorry, not have Ferrothorn be the slowest thing on the field with Parasong. So the way Parasong works is um, if multiple Pokemon faint at the same time with Parasong, it, they faint in speed order. And because Ferrothorn is so slow, um, like I can just never underspeed it. And so if I Parasong in a 2v2 with Ferrothorn there, I always lose. So I'd have to get into a position where I've got a 3v2 against Ferrothorn. In a, but yeah, I think, like this matchup is just impossible. I don't think I ever win this matchup. Um, I'm going to T-Bolt the Moltres just to prove a point. If they switch into right you here, they're very rude. They have no reason to. Ah, oh, just let me have your Moltres at least. Come on. <laughs> That's harsh. Okay. Um, yeah, I lose. I don't have a flying move on Moltres there. I guess maybe they don't have a nasty plot. Weakness policy Moltres is so weird without Dynamax, because Aleki just flattens it. I guess you've got Raichu there, but if you can get around the Raichu, Aleki flattens it. Maybe I should have brought Lando to that one instead of Politoed, but again, I just needed to bring as many possible outs against Ferrothorn as I could, because otherwise I'd just hard lose to it. Like, Lando doesn't do anything with it. Um, I guess maybe I don't remember Rillaboom, but Rillaboom's my best move into Raichu. Could have left Sizzle behind, but Sizzle's my only damage into Ferrothorn. Could have left Aleki behind, potentially, but then I've not really got anything to deal with the Moltres, and I've got no speed on the team. Ugh, yeah, that was... I think that was just unwinnable, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> right, um, that's me it for this episode. Um, if you've enjoyed me suffering through an unwinnable matchup, then feel free to... Drop a like on the video, uh, sub to the channel if you haven't already, all support is very much appreciated. Currently in for 200 subs, not a huge milestone, but it's a milestone nonetheless, um, so very much appreciated if you drop a sub. Uh, and also go follow me on Twitch as well, link to that's in the description. Been a bit quiet on Twitch recently, um, just because it's hard to do ladder and content and stuff, but I might do some team building, um, I might do some showdown streams or something, who knows. Um, but yeah, uh, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a follow on Twitch, um, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.